Things were back to normal today at Northeast Middle School and two others in Madison County. Tuesday, they were placed on a soft lockdown after shots were fired in a nearby residential neighborhood. One man was shot at a home on Christmasville Road but has been released from the hospital. Classes were disrupted for about an hour on Tuesday. Federal authorities are offering a reward of up to $5,000. They're looking for information leading to the arrest of Sakuna Copeland. He's 5 foot 11 and weighs 200 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Copeland is also known as Cutthroat Pinky. Authorities say he may be living in West Tennessee. The race for the U.S. Senate is heating up. A $2 million campaign of attack ads has been launched against Democrat Phil Bredesen. The group behind the campaign supports Republican Marsha Blackburn. The ads tie Bredesen to liberal issues. Tourism continues to be strong in West Tennessee. Revenues from tourism last year in this part of the state were up nearly 6%. Statewide, nearly $21 billion were spent on tourism during 2017. That's up more than 6% from the previous year. The pollen count continues high in West Tennessee counties. Ragweed and pine pollen are the main culprits. Jackson's Wednesday pollen count was 9.5 on a scale of 12. That's expected to drop Thursday with rain in the area. And gas prices are holding firm as Labor Day weekend approaches. The low price in Jackson fell to $2.53 a gallon last week, but that's still up 45 cents over the price at the pump last year. I'm Matana DeWitt. I'm Mary Barnes, and that's West Tennessee Today.